<laughs> Program. Hey, everybody. Yeah, we're on TV. Joe Daily Hour with me. We lost the award. Yes. We are an award losing talk show. So, uh, what happens here on the program? Turn on the machines. We start talking. Talk for one hour. That's the show. Yeah. The only thing is, you just can't stop. You gotta keep talking and keep going for the whole hour. So, that's the only rule. You can call in. You can come on the show. Uh, we had emails you could contact us at, you know, fan mail or, you know, complaints. You can send it all, and uh, as long as it's in the hour, we'll read it at point and talk to you and just keep on talking. So that's what we've got to do. Yeah. Today's Monday, and it's usually Mondays with Dan, but oh yeah. Dan is feeling a little under the weather today. He's sick, I guess. So I'm a, I'm a representative of CCTV in his place today. So I think we should call him first off on a Monday yeah, and right say, away. Dan, how you, how you feeling? What are you doing? Stuff like that. So here we go. You have reached a number that uh, does not accept solicitation. I know, Dan. You are. You know who we are. Thank We're you. We're not soliciting. Please hold. And then we got to listen to his message machine too. I remember seeing his message machine. See if he saw the game show message. It's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan, it's the program. Uh, if you're there, pick up. Maybe you can't get out of bed or something. Here we are, calling you. Uh, you can call us back though. Maybe you have about uh, 57 minutes to call us back. Maybe you're you're too sick to answer the phone. Yeah. Hey Dan, this is Freddie. Just uh, I'm I'm sitting on the couch. I was hoping to see you, but it'd be great to talk to you. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you feel better. Uh, drink lots of liquids and. Um, Stuff. Yeah, okay, thanks. Bye bye. I always like to draw messages to Dan because he leaves very long messages. Oh, yeah. Good plan. It's pretty exciting. We got some new monitors. We yeah, have one oh, of them hooked up, though. Yeah. Is it on? Yes, it is. There it is. So, look, we got a new monitor, so we're going pro now. This is thanks to KLTV. We could call them and thank them for these monitors. Well, yeah. If we're going to get the other monitor, we'll be running tomorrow. Yeah, so, so now we got that. That's this camera. And then this is that camera. And then this is what's actually going to TV. Ooh. So what's going to TV is pretty crazy right now. And we're looking at that too. It's wild TV zone. So we got, a, oh, here's a new voicemail from a, from a stranger, from a, a watcher or something. Let's hear it. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Is that it? Yep, hello? that was it. Let's call them back. Hello? Oh, we got text messages from Tony C. Tony C in the Jets. Hey, keep on the limit unless I'll keep doing what do you do now. I am a big fan. How's my phone call, P? I dictated this to my phone, so my not come out back re. Oh, he dictated it to his phone. Huh, that's a pretty fancy feature. He sent us another one that says, Garfield. Are you reached Elizabeth Mazda of the Rolex Corporation? Give me a message, I'll call you back as what? soon as I can. Thank you. Corporation, hey. Uh, Hi, Mark Mullet, Miss Tom Corporation. Uh, this is Your Daily Hour with me. We're a local TV talk show in the Thurston County area, and we're wondering if your corporation would like to sponsor us um, on the program. It's not, you know, all we have to offer is we can say at the end, but like, we thank our proud sponsors, so if you think that's something that's interesting to you, let us know what kind of things you could give us. Okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I don't know what they're... Uh well, that was that was weird. I don't think it's a real corporation. Is this going to the tape okay? It looks like it's not bouncing much here, but it's going crazy there. Oh, uh, this is not. You don't have to look at this thing. This is this, this is nothing. It's nothing. It's what's coming over the monitors. The monitors is real. This thing's not even plugged into the VCR at all. Right. Okay. This thing's just plugged into the mixer. But the mixer's bouncing like the low. That's not. Don't worry about that. Oh, either. the mixer is. No, I mean if you can hear it in the speakers, because the speakers are are coming through the TV. You see? 
ah. through the coaxial. I see. So everything that's coming onto the monitors here is is what's going to onto the video. Okay, okay. That's because good. the VCR is the only thing hooked up to that end over there. Okay. So everything else, the, the monitors, the lines and stuff, it's all whatever, but it's only one coaxial cable going over there. So that's why you can tell. It's all through the monitors. It's a pretty complicated setup you got here right now. So, uh, yeah, Tony C's other... Yeah, look at all these machines. Radio Shack machine. Switchers. Yeah. VCRs. We have this thing. <laughs> it's not even doing anything right now, but it's... Uh, look at all these lights. I guess this is, this is fun just to be like, oh, look, at, we're so pro that we got this big machine and we don't even know how to use. And we got the mix of the monitors, three VCRs, all the TVs and monitors over there and stuff. It's pretty exciting. Super helps. Super helps. The home studio. So, uh... Tony C's second text message says, Garfield movie is one of my favorite films. It starts Bill Murray in Breckenmeyer. Breckenmeyer is the best actor the century, and I am a big fan of Mullis. Mullis? M-E-L-I-S-S. Mullis. Mullis. And his third text message says, Get, give me a call, all right, you guys? So hopefully, no bake, should I get a chance to talk to Sean School Dress? Sean School Dress. Yeah. That's a weird thing to say. Tony, let's call Tony. Yeah, I wonder what, how Tony feels about uh, the old Osama bin Laden thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, did you guys hear about that? That was last week. Yeah, a week ago, Osama bin Laden died. I, I wonder if it's changed the world. Yeah. Let's see if it's yeah the world is a better place in a week. Is it the same world you guys call in and let us know? Three three zero five three six three eight zero two, and uh, or you can go to the website yourdailyhour.co.cc. We're calling Tony. Yeah, yeah. Also, it's been it took a long time to kill Osama. You know, it took like ten years. Oh. Hey, Tony. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Hey, hey, Tony, did you hear about Osama Bin Laden? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. You know, it's, it's crazy. Everybody's going around on, on my street. They were walking down the street by loud music all night long. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Like, celebrating? Uh, yeah. Whoa, I didn't see any of that. Is that, that. is that happening in Florida? You think people in Florida are more happy about that than well, other places? You know, there's a base near here, and that they were coming down from the base, I think. But people people like to play loud music in the streets all the time in Miami, right? Yeah, but I mean, there were people like crowds of them going down the street, all happy with the American flag and everything. Wow, I, I feel like they're almost blowing it up. Like when I heard about it yesterday, they said something like uh, the they called Osama bin Laden the mastermind behind the 9/11 attack and all this stuff. And I feel like while we couldn't find him, we didn't give him quite as much stuff. We were like looking for him, but we weren't saying like. Like, without him, now we're, like, building it up, like, oh, we got him, it's over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think? You think it's a big deal? I don't think it's that big of a deal. Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's been 11 years, 10 years, I don't know. Uh, I, I guess, kind of, like, you know, just people seem to be blowing it up a bit. Yeah. Well, it's, it's moderately exciting. I think a lot of people are, uh, like I heard on NPR this morning, people are upset that they didn't capture him instead. Like, that's part of why they're oh, talking about it, is because they're like, hey, are you even trying to capture him or just kill him? You know? Yeah. I think they were just trying to kill him. I remember they were just trying to kill him for so long. <laughs> I think somebody saw, yeah. saw him and killed him, right? Yeah, I don't know. So, Tony, what, what do you like about Garfield, the Garfield movie? Oh, well, you know, the Garfield movie, uh, one of my friends' favorite films, he introduced it to me a while back, and it's one of the best, worst films I've ever seen. Yeah, it's CG, right? Yeah. Do you like the cartoon? Do you like the comics and the cartoon also? I used to watch the VHS tapes all day long when I was little. Yeah, uh, yeah, the one where Garfield, wait, he gets lost somewhere. Where what? I'm, like, uh, I'm thinking about Garfield and Friends. Oh, Garfield and Friends. Like yeah. A, yeah. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah, like Nermal. Why w was Nermal in the in Garfield's movie? Were there a lot of, like, sub-characters there? 
Tony? Huh? Yeah, was it was normal? Was was normal and uh, no. What? He he wasn't. Oh. What about uh Arlene the girl cat? I don't I don't think so. Oh. I remember in the old cartoons she was kind of like the the love interest. Yeah, exactly. Who who played who played John Arbuckle in that movie? A Breck and Meyer did. Breckenmeyer, huh? Breckenmeyer. What is Breckenmeyer? What else? He, he, you say that you like him, but what else has he he done? Uh, nothing. No, you know, it's just his whole career has been devoted to Garfield. So, Tony, are you uh, are you nominating Garfield as the best movie ever? Is that what you said? Best worst movie ever? Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah. For the competition, okay. Cool. Oh, that guy, yeah, Breckenmeyer, huh? Breckenmeyer. Huh. So, uh, Garfield's best worst movie ever. That's a good. Mm-hmm. You wanna you wanna know about the other the other um, categories we have so far, Tony? Sure. We have Ryan Garnett for best legs. Best what? Best, best legs. legs. All right. Maybe in Thurston County, he, I think, was what it was. Yeah, in Thurston County and the world, if nobody else votes outside the world. Exactly, so, right. So he has three votes. Uh-huh. And the next one is John Farinelli, smallest ears. Okay. And are we supposed to, like, tell people the votes, like, before? Oh, maybe we're not supposed to. Maybe we should just say who's been, you know, who's been nominated. Yeah. Smallest ears, John Farinelli. Best chest, Ian Brinker. Here, Freddie, he has two, two nominations. One's for tallest, and one's for best overall person. <laughs> uh-huh. That's Freddie right here. He's with us right here. You know Freddie from the, the producer? Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, I wrote Freddie, yeah. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm a big fan of you, Tony. See, you're great. Oh, thank you. So, I saw on YouTube that you have some, uh, you have some former Jets that are disgruntled. What happened to those guys? Oh, they're, they're just really angry. We, he, it's just one. He's really angry, upset. He didn't get the type of uh, respect he had been in, expecting, and, you know, he just went a little bit a you know? Did you kick him out of the Jets? Uh, well, I mean, he left on his own, but, I mean, he, he didn't know what he wanted. But you he, know, he was, he was really upset and angry. He left out of, but he was mad when he left, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Tony, do you have anything else you want to say to us today? Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't really had anything else going on today. Okay, that's great, Tony. Thanks for your texts, and uh, continue to leave messages for us. It's fun. All right. Oh. All right. All right, we'll see you later then. All right, bye-bye. Oh, man, I just read the, the voicemail that we got from that number we just called. Yeah. Oh, Hello? Uh, you called. I'm not sure why. I know that my daughter, Teresa, had called from this number yesterday. Anyway, sorry to bother you. Bye. So maybe it was a real business. Oh, we're, a real business. We're, we're calling them back, oh yeah. God. Oh, man. We're playing phone tag. Sorry, business. We were on oh, the is phone. it a business? I think so. Maybe. I think it really is a business. Well, we're calling them back, and we'll find out, I guess. Maybe we should call them back, but we already are. Yeah, uh-oh. We're going to at least... Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi, this is, uh, this is uh, your daily hour with me. We're on TV, and uh, you, we got a message from you guys yesterday, and we're just calling you back. Okay, why are you calling me? Well, we have a TV show, and what happens is that I put the phone number on the TV show, and then I have people call it, and then we call them back later, and then we talk to them. Okay, and what do we talk about? Um, I don't know, so whatever, usually the people who call, they have a reason why they're calling, and that's what they talk about. But you you guys are a corporation, is that what you said on the re- message? Well, what's a corporation? We make, uh, siding and gutter and building parts out of aluminum and steel. Oh, are you guys lo- located in the Thurston County area? No, we're in Elk Grove Village, Illinois, we're right by Chicago. Oh, wow, oh. so, so y- your, your daughter must be watching us on the internet then. No, I'm not. Oh. I only know about you through Teresa and Curtis. Oh, from them. I know them. So they told you to watch the show or something? Oh, this is Teresa's mom. Yes. Oh, Teresa's mom. <laughs> Teresa's mom. That's who it is. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. So hi, Teresa's mom. Um, what happened? It was it was yesterday was Mother's Day, because we air a week in the future, and uh, so. Wow. Yeah. So happy Mother's Day, Teresa's mom. Thank you very much. I hope all the mothers listening have a great Mother's Day and have wonderful children like I do. Yeah, she, uh, Teresa is there. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she was on the program yesterday, and Curtis was too, and we called you, and <laughs> now I figured it out. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> okay, have a great day. Well, you Thanks. too. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, well, that's, that was a mystery solved. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Maybe uh, you should add that phone number so it doesn't get confusing. Oh, add it? Say Teresa's, say yeah, it Teresa's mom? Yeah, Steel Corporation or something. Teresa's, well, it's Teresa's mom's corporation, but she... Uh, yeah, yesterday was Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day yesterday, everybody. Hope you guys a good, had a good one. Yeah, hope you uh, did some nice time with your moms, you know, or, or whatever. Yeah. Time. Whatever you whatever you needed to do that day. Some people think it's a it's kind of a Hallmark holiday, but you know yeah. there's no reason to not celebrate that. Don't buy those cards though. That's one thing you shouldn't do. Those yeah. Hallmark cards, but that was too late. So I sh well, we didn't warn you soon enough. So if you did, you know, whatever. Not the worst thing ever. Well, we got another voice Hi, right. I'm one of the members of Tony C and the Jets. I just, uh, I've been hearing that there's been a disgruntled a member, a disgruntled Jet. He's used to be in the band. Not in no Oh, wow. We're, we're calling this guy. He's another Jet, I guess. What is this? We're gonna talk to another All the jet. Jets are calling us. <laughs> this guy's from, what's, what's O-N? What's O-N? That's in Ontario. Oh yeah! Wow, was, you're, you're in Canada. I'm in Canada. How you're? But you're we, a member of the Jets, and the Jets are in Florida, right? We're doing an internet world tour. We're a big, we're a big, uh, big group worldwide. Oh, you guys are an internet group. We're well. The thing is, Tony C has got a. He ran out of cash. His cash flow ran down. Nothing. He had to move back in with his uh, grandmother in Florida. Cause she's uh, got wheelchairs. Uh, special benefits, ramps and stuff all over the house. All he has to do is roll around the skateboard. It's a lot more fun than being in Toronto or snow. Is is he Canadian? Did Tony C spend a lot of time in Canada? Tony C, was when the Jets started, he came up to Toronto, and he's like, got to start a band. Uh, I'm fresh from Florida, uh, looking for some backup, looking for some backups for my band. So he got me, and he got the other guy, the disgruntled Jet, who will remain unnamed, and, uh, got us started a band, but then the thing is, he decided to uh, <laughs> to go back to Florida. He abandoned us behind. He's oh no! He's abandoned us all over. Uh, he's coming back in the summer, and we're doing the world tour. We're going to be on. Lo we're going to go on local television. We're going to perform live. He's going to explain clump theories, and we're going to watch Garfield the movie special screenings. Oh, you like uh, that movie, yeah? Theater contact, first contact. So. What do you what do you play in the Jets? Well, I play in the Jets. I'm the uh, the background percussionist and the background keyboardist and the lead keyboardist. Whoa! You play background and lead at the same time? I can I can play multiple instruments at once. I got multi talented. Whoa! We got we got a sequencer. We type it in. We have a drum machine and a sequencer. I don't even have to play the instrument, and I play them all at once. Oh, you play the computer. That's pretty good. Computer the sequencer, games. not not a computer, the sequencer. So you like the you watch the program? I watch the program every day. Subscribe on YouTube. Wow, well, what's your what's your name? Uh, Zizang Gopterus. DJ Doctorus? Z Zizang Gopterus. What? Z Zizang Gopterus. Zizang Zizang Gopterus. Z Z Z Z Z Z Jiang Opterus. Like zebra. Like Z Z Z Z H E J I A N G Opterus. All right. Like Z Zang Opterus. Z Zang Z Zang Z Zang Z Zang Z Zang Z Zang Opterus. Z Zang Opterus. Z Zang. Z Z Zang. With a Z. With a Z as in zebra. Z E Z I N G Opterus. Z Z H E. Z as in Z as in zebra. Z, okay. Zedra. Zedra. Z H E J I A N G Opterus. 
All right. Hey, in Canada, do, do you guys care that Osama bin Laden is dead? Well, I don't know who that is. Really? You don't even know who that is at all? Like President uh, President Obama? No, Osama. Osama. Oh, Osama bin Laden. I don't know who that is. We don't have that in Canada. No, oh, that's, that's Any interesting. Celebrity? Well, well, it, well, that person is okay. Never I guess mind. he's a celebrity. I think he counts as a celebrity, maybe. Yeah, he's one of our dirtiest celebrities, dirtiest and hated. Is he, what did he die of? Did he, uh, did he, he was, like shared? Did he die he, in a car accident? Like he was shared? killed. He was killed by the government. He died of Navy SEALs. SEALs. So like the SEALs, the, they're clubbing a lot of SEALs and yeah. uh, like SEAL, like the guy SEAL, you think crazy? No, Navy SEALs. Navy, Navy SEALs, like the army. There's seal, navy seals blue in the colored army. seals, trick seals. So they, they like there's blue colored seals. They flippered him. Well, what was he doing in the ocean? No, near no, the no. Seals, like, they attacked him on land. No, navy seals, like the army. So the army trained seals. No, no, to like 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 seal, seals US. are seals are like people, and they're in the army. It's just their name. Their name. So it's a bunch of people. It's a bunch of. People, they change their names. I don't, I don't understand yeah. exactly where you're coming from. I'm gonna America. pretend I do, and I'm gonna pretend that Seal killed uh, Obama Bin Laden. Okay. Uh, world famous. Hey, do they got McDonald's in Canada? Um, I've seen it once. I don't know exactly what it, what they do there. I saw it when I was in Buffalo, New York. There's a big gold march. Is M. But they don't have in, don't they have them in Canada too though? No, we have laws in Canada against uh, restaurant chains. It has to be locally owned. You do you have you been to French Canada? I uh, I've been there once, twice. I've been there at least ten times. What's his name? Zgat. Zgat. Z Z Z Z Z Zang Doctorus. Z Zang Doctorus. Yeah. Like Zizang, China. Zizang. Opterus. Opterus. All right. Zizang. Zizang Opterus. Anyway, the Jets are about to do a conference call. We're about to call you up on Skype, so I'll I'll get back to you through oh. via Skype message. We okay. don't. We're not on Skype anymore. But you can call the phone number. We have a phone number on Skype that we're gonna call. Oh, we, all right. Call your phone. Okay, I'll wait all for it. Jets. So is that gonna happen soon? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna happen right now. Well, okay. Bye bye. Bye. I think there's an R in Opterus. Doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> Optus. Oh, Opterus. Zizang Optus. Zurus. Opter. T E R. So I guess we're getting this phone call from Tony C and the Jets. They're a group of people. That's good. Thanks, Tony. He's, he's going on a world tour. Going to promote the show. No? I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Tony likes Garfield, the movie. And you're daily hour with me. <laughs> so yeah, let's listen to Zizang's message here while waiting for him to call us, I guess, on Skype or whatever. Hi, uh, I'm one of the members of Tony C and the Jets. I just, uh, I've been hearing that there's been a, a disgruntled a member, a disgruntled Jet. He's used to be in the band, not no longer. He's uh, got real mad. Um, I'm cool Jet guy, the Jets. I am the Jets, actually. But uh, become a duo, the disgruntled oh. jet. We he, we had to kick him out. He got real mad all of the day. And sometimes he just drawn pictures. Shrek during practice. We can't have that. We can't have that during band practice. They don't like Shrek. Art practice huh? time. The art group. But he seemed to think the art group was more important than the Jets. But music is a form of art, if you understand. Uh, anyway, I'd like you to um, to just write it down. Uh, that he is no longer a member of the Jets, he does not represent us, and uh, he's uh, a big poop head. Who? The guy, there's, there's a guy on YouTube who keeps, he keeps saying Shrek. He's like, Shrek, Shrek, Shrek. And that's, that's an internet joke. Oh, I, I think see, so he doesn't... Oh, okay. we missed the call. We missed it. Oh, no. Or something. Oh, what? Maybe we should call Zizang back and tell him that we missed it. Maybe they'll try to call us back too. I'm not really okay. sure. Stay on the Google, uh, the Gmail side there. Can you call that back? Well, they're trying to call us. Maybe they'll call us again if it because it didn't work. They'll figure it out. Do you hear a ringing? Yeah, I do. I don't know what that is from. Could be. Uh. Uh. I don't know. Oh.
Whoa. Well, I don't know. Whatever. I think it's, it's gonna. We're gonna have to deal with it. It's kind of irritating, but I don't think it's coming through on the machine. It might be though. It's hard to tell sometimes. Ooh. No, I don't think it is. It's coming from the monitors. All right. Whatever. I can deal with it. Something squealing. Er, squeal, squealy, squeal. So that's kind of crazy. Here, let's let's uh call him McDonald's, I guess. Or <laughs> should we call Zizang back? Yeah, maybe. Tell him that. I wonder what kind of video Zizang has up on his. Uh, Z, so I guess 2015 the jet. To Zizang is the jet. There's only one now. That's what he They're said. They're a duo. I I thought Tony C said there was like a like a ten piece or something. Yeah. I think they're kind of back and forth. I don't even know if they actually live in Canada or Florida. I think they might be, the Jets might be little uh, goofballs in a way. But I think <laughs> you guys also might be the main watchers of the show. I'm pretty sure the Jets are watching. So you guys, I mean, you guys are having fun with it. You can make them goofing off or not. So just call us back, tell us the real story, or, you know, make up a new one or something. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah, you're, you're making... Can you viewers out there can uh, make the show the show you want to see? You know. So how did I? Yeah, I wonder if I can call Ontario because maybe it's not long distance. I wonder. They sent us. They called us from Ontario. No, this is just New Jersey, but we can call them anyway. Let's call Hillsboro, New Jersey, McDonald's. Oh, oh, what the? What, what is this? No. Should we call Zizang back? Yeah, let's just uh, see if he picks up. All right. Tell him to try again, I guess. So we should have a McDonald's on the, uh, yeah, in the queue. Thing. He's not calling. Let's call us McDonald's. All right, yeah. And then we'll see what happens after that. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hey, so oh, it's hard to see what the... We haven't got any intern calls yet, huh? Nope. Well, we ha it hasn't aired yet. Nobody calls on the intern, but we just started doing the intern message yesterday. Oh, that's true. So, yeah, oh, let's, uh, let's, maybe we can talk about the tape. Do you think it's good enough? Yeah, we got a new tape. It's, uh, it's pretty similar to the last tape, which is fine. Yeah, it's true. I, I figured might as well refine rather than reinvent. Yeah, I just think that's this good. time, you know. Dennis McDonald, certified public accountant. Found the McDonald's. Telephone number. Uh oh. Oh, unknown caller. Yeah, they're still trying to call us. They got to call us again. One more time, Zizang. Come on. I think. Oh, yeah, we missed another one. Oh, so. No. <laughs> we're talking to McDonald's. Yeah, we'll let them go. We'll let, we're gonna wait. I think we're just this time. We're just gonna oh, yeah, have to wait for them. Yeah, we can just talk about. It. Talk to talk We're talking about, about the video, yeah. waiting for the video to go through. Um, oh wait, you get the have you done a commercial yet? No, has, has it come up on the thing? No, I think I think it's almost time for a commercial break. But oh, I didn't see the commercial break yesterday. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Is there a sound for it or only video? Uh, might be only video. No, I was thinking that we should we need, we need a sound for it, but what, yeah, what kind of sound should we put in there? I was thinking it's like beep, and then it goes like or like get ri or like. And now a commercial break. Oh, that's you know. a better idea. Maybe we'll get Vod to do some. I'll have next time I'm at CCTV with Vod. He could do some uh, in between. Yeah. So when's the commercial break? What about? Is this the commercial break part now? Or? No, not yet. It's, uh, it's coming up. I think in four minutes. Oh, and then so after thirty, after. Oh. Quick, quick, fast. Hello. Hello? Is this the Jets? Hello? Is Tony C and the Jets? Yo, hey, how you doing? Hey. Oh, good. Hey, is it is it Z Zing and Tony at the same time? Yes. And we got the Hawk. And too. I'm the Hawk. I'm the Jets. 
I'm the jet. The hawk? I am the hawk. <laughs> awesome. Are you a member of the Jets as well? Uh, yeah. I I replaced the disgruntled Jet when when he disappeared. So now you're Tony C and the Jets plus a hawk. Tony C, Z Zang, and the hawk. The hawk. I'll just put the last yeah, one on the yeah. Oh, okay. Z-Zang. So, what do you guys want to talk about on Skype there? Uh, well, we wanted to call in and say, you know, uh, that we're, you know, we're just, we're here together with the, uh, the Jets here, and, you know, we're, uh, we thought we would announce right on your show right here that we're making our reunion tour soon. It's called Osama Bin Laden uh, Hide and Seek Champion. That's, hey, the, that's the name of the tour? Yeah, I guess he hid for 10 years. Definitely. Yeah. Where are you guys going to go? Uh, worldwide yeah, tour. worldwide tour across the internet, straight to Canada. Cool. Well, you're gonna. Are you, do you want to uh, have a musical appearance on the program when you're coming on tour? Uh, we've been. We can consider that. We we uh. Is that we little, can do that. I mean, really, it's really a matter of working it out with the the, the agents. You know, oh, we don't sure, know sure. what their plans for us are. Well, just make sure that if you start a talk show circuit, you start with your daily hour with me. Oh, definitely, man. That's going to be the first one we go to. <laughs> hey, the Hawk, where are you at right now? Well, uh, I took a leap of absence from the band since we're all on break, and uh, I'm in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, huh? You guys are all over, all over the place. Canada, Florida, Pennsylvania, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you go on Zizang Opters, you can check out one of the uh, samples from our new album called Mama Luigi. What is it? It's, oh. it's on. Go on. Go on. Are, are you on Zizang Opters? Go on YouTube. Yeah. And, uh, go to Zizang Opters and, and click on Mama Luigi. Ma- I, s- I don't know how to spell Zizang. So. Yeah. Z- I don't know how to spell Opters. Z H E J I A N G. Z H G. Z H E, as in, uh, as in, uh, zebra. Z H. Roger. Here, I'm gonna type in on your YouTube. I'm yeah. Go to your YouTube. I'm gonna or, type your or you could, you could text message the program with it. You could do that too. Yeah, Z Z Zeng, text us. Hey, have you heard about this YouTube live thing? Apparently, YouTube is doing live events, and since we're already part of what, 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 what does that say? What does what say? The, the intern. Message. It says intern oh. positions is available. Yeah, I wrote on your, wrote on your uh, YouTube, YouTube. Oh, all right. Hey, we're looking for, uh, for interns. You guys know anybody? Well, I guess you guys are kind of far away to be interns, but you can still be an intern if you want. I don't know. I want to be an intern. You do? All you said was poop. Oh man, totally. <laughs> no, uh, you s- it's okay, but that's his. Oh, that's never mind. Oh, all just right. Click on it. All right. Whoa. Ford for mayor. What is it? Ford or Mama Luigi, right? It's Mama Luigi. It's Mama Luigi. Mama Luigi. That's one of our top hits. This is your song? Oh, hey, okay. 30 seconds of commercial hey, break. It's time for a commercial break. We have to take a commercial break. It's okay. We're going to be on commercials. Yeah, we're going to go take a commercial break. Uh, go. Alright. Anybody got to come up to the commercial? What are we going to do? What, what is this, a commercial? Oh. Uh, wait, is this a, I thought yeah, that's a commercial? commercial. Oh, there's not a commercial on there. Oh. No, we got to make our own commercial, right? Oh, okay. For 30 seconds, and then yeah, we go Tony back. Yeah, Tony or you guys make a commercial really fast. For yourself. Uh, Tony Cena the Jets, buy it. Buy the hit, the hit new album, uh, One Last Jet, The Return of the Famous Tony C. He makes his debut back uh, on uh, oh, uh, stage hey. for oh, One Last Jet. Show. Welcome back. Make sure you're there. Me. There's going to be lots of trampolines, lots of uh, like, like sausages to, to, to eat. It's going to be good. Yeah. Family Great. Barbecue. What a good commercial. 
Okay. I thought the commercial was going to be on there. It doesn't really make much sense to... Oh, I th it's... Well, in the past, we've done commercials. If we like fade it to oh, black and then, go to do, and then go. Oh, do our own commercial. commercial. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah that makes sense. Maybe, maybe I misunderstood what you said and I made the wrong thing. No, I mean I don't think it. I don't think there was anything to misunderstand or understand, and we <laughs> so now we figured it out. See, this is only the first day with the tape, though. You know. Yeah, totally. So tomorrow the tape will do better. We'll do better with the commercial break, and we're learning. Because yesterday I didn't even. I guess I wasn't paying attention to the monitors when the commercial break happened. Oh yeah. And then the commercial break happened, and we just like talked right through it. <laughs> So today I noticed it, and then later on now we're going through it. See, so today is like the the you showing the video. Hey, did you guys make that that Mama Luigi video on Mario Paint? We made Mario Paint. Yeah, we're big fans of the Mario Paint. In fact, uh, we came across your Mario Paint video, and it inspired us to make the music video for Mama Luigi. Oh, really? Is that how you found the channel in the first place? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. mystery! That's that's great. Hey, I re I like Mario Paint. It's a good medium there, huh? We also got another song that you guys may enjoy. It's called "If Only We Could Have Saved You." This one has features Tony C on lead um, vocoder, uh, is, also Microsoft Sam. It is, features me. Is on it Sam. on on the same website? It's it's on. It's the first video on the account. What's it called? It's uploaded ten months. If only we could have saved you. Only, I don't see it. If only oh, if only, it. yeah, there it is. All right, here it goes. Here, I'll play it for you guys too. It's not something you wanted. It's just something that's always been there. Every second, it grips him from within. This is uh, it's his destiny. You guys made his this. Power, his curse. Who we made. We made the song. The this is a Tony C song. The Jet. Sounds pretty good, I like it. Great uh, maze graphics there. Cool. Hey, oh, wait, wait, uh-oh. What a good song, guys. Well, thank you, man. Could you hear that? You could hear it over the phone, right? I played it over the phone, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty exciting. So you guys are on the internet a lot. Internet band. Um, so are you guys all telling you people, tell people in Pennsylvania and Canada to watch it. You guys can be the street team. <laughs> We've been We're making shirts and Tony C, he would be on the street. He's um, recently, he's developed a case of disease that's been putting him in a wheelchair, but it'll probably be out by this summer. Oh, you're, what Red happened? Tony C. Tony C. Uh, uh, someone named Steffi rolled a car over him. He was driving his car. And, oh, no. Uh, he what? And uh, because he saw this car, she freaked out. So she rolled into a ditch, and he was launched out the back window, and the car rolled over him, shattering his belt. Wow. Tony C, is that true? Uh, yeah, uh, we were just rolling down the road, and she took, a, she took a turn, saw a truck, and she was like, oh, no. And then, uh, you know, we had, there was a pretty bad accident. The car rolled over, and, uh, you know, and then I, I, like, went out the back window real bad, and I broke, I broke my arm. And then the car, the, she she rolled the car over me, and you know we just haven't been sp we haven't spoken to each other since. It was oh, a really bad man. accident. Wow, she's that sounds terrible. Right no, so she's working on the balcony. She's making uh, her way back to the balcony. She'll be okay. Now, Tony, I mean, I myself don't even know. Um, I heard that you you died for a few moments, and the uh, paramedics were able to pronounce legally dead. Yeah. Revive. Well, they had to revive. the reunion tour. That's why we're coming back. So, what, what, I mean, tour, I don't maybe. mean to play the interviewer here, but, like, what What did you, what, what was dying like? What, what happened? Uh, you know, I went under, uh, and I, I saw myself, and I saw the Jets, and it was nice. It was a nice, it was a nice experience. But the, I went back, the jets and now we're bringing them, bringing them back. Uh, but I would have to say this: we have had some jets die in the past. 
at, at, at your daily hour. You know, we we had a couple of Jets die. I would really like it if you guys just, you know, said, you know, remember the Jets and possibly, you know, a moment of silence for those fallen Jets. All right, are you ready? Moment of silence, here we go. All right, we're back. Okay, that was a silence Woo. moment. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was intense. Yeah, that was beautiful. Thank that was, you. You know, I, I appreciate that a lot. It's spoof. Yeah, spoof. One of our fallen jets, the spoof, he was a good one. He died in the Iraqi war fighting Ooh. off the terrorists, illegal al-Qaeda. They were selling drugs. Searching for bin Laden. Well... We remember him today, especially. Yeah, R.I.P. Tony, or to the Jets, the old Jets. So, Tony C., you're the mastermind, yeah, right? The Are these people like your students, yeah. kind of? You're like, you're sen you're yeah, their yeah, sensei? Yeah, I guess you call them that. That's good. Tony, you the, must be the master. That's, that's pretty exciting. Um, you know, we've never done this phone call thing. You seem to know about the technology. That's, that's good that you guys are helping, helping us out like that. We never had a conference call before. Yeah, you're doing great. that. Great, it's fantastic. Usually, we're the we're outnumbering the people that get called. I think. Yeah. I don't even know how many people are we talking to. Uh, three right now, and you know, there's a lot more people around. We'll have to get you guys onto the big, the big one, the Ventrilo, pretty soon. Oh, the Ventrilo. Uh, need that information. That's real. It's uh, like a voiceover internet crazy data stream. Wow. And you guys can communicate with so many people. Wow. I, don't, I, I don't know how that works, though. Can you just call us and then have it go over the phone? <laughs> with the no. Trillo? I don't, I don't think we can do that. You're gonna need it. it could be like a second phone line, basically. I think, I think we can make that happen. It's just a matter of getting all the jets to get on to Skype at once. Right. Yeah, we it's could... kind of tedious, but there's some, I think we can make it happen. The, the Trillo is I interesting. Just, I, that I, means we could have basically two phone lines then. How right? many? How many? Uh, oh, that'd be good. How many? How many jets are there? Uh, like I said, you know, we got like an upwards of eighteen of them. Officially in the band on the touring scene, there are three. Yeah. And then the rest are currently our street team, but they're practicing because one day we're planning on doing a big band style uh, swing music instead of currently what we do, which is uh, which is inspired by this band called Pony Dream. And it's not really a genre yet, but we're thinking of it. Cool. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds. Are you gonna do the Garfield song when the big band? It's gonna be a swing version. We're actually planning a 15-minute-long swing version of the song. Beautiful. That sounds great. So you guys are like Wu Tang, right? With the up and down with all the bands and stuff. Hey, do you guys want raffle tickets? Raffle tickets to to what? You don't know. You you don't know about the raffle tickets? Uh, I don't. I don't believe I do. Oh, we, maybe you guys haven't watched the show enough, but you we have raffle tickets, and we're trying to give them out to people. So, um, yeah, we'll give one to you, Tony. Oh, I think I heard. Oh, I think yeah, Tony, Tony's got one, I Tony, think. you already have one, but Zizang, you don't have one, and the Hawk doesn't have one either. Ha the Hawk, if you want to um, if you want to get the phone, you know the show number, Hawk, right? You watch the show? Um, yeah, I've watched it uh, once or twice, and I do have the phone number. Uh, that's how I, I own the Skype account that can make calls uh, to landlines and cell phones. So yes, I, I have the number now. So if you want to text, can you text from your Skype there? Uh, yes. Uh, not from Skype, but I can. I can just put the number on my phone. Yeah. Well, you want to text us the number that we can call you back at, and then uh, then we can call you back if you win the raffle. And we're gonna give Zizang an, uh, a raffle as well, and we're gonna call him if he wins the raffle. How do I, how do I get more than one raffle ticket? You have to pay a dollar. Yeah, the first one's free. The, the first one is free. After that, they're, they're a dollar. You gotta create alter egos. Can I, uh, like, send you? Can I send you a raffle? Like, can I send it to you over PayPal? The money? Yeah, we do PayPal. Yes. PayPal. Yeah, I have to do that. Um. Well, you can go to the, my website, which is Kenrick Ward. Dot co dot cc. Okay. All right. So on KenrickWard.co.cc, there's a donate button on the bottom, and you can just donate, but it won't be a donation. You'll be buying raffle tickets. Okay. All right. And there are dollars. You know, yeah, I heard some. I heard some of your hot beats on your website. This, this is getting nice. 
Yeah, you can buy as many as you want. Yeah, and and the uh, the Downey brothers, big fan of that too. Oh, good. That's yeah. Freddie, Freddie's in the Downey brothers too. He's here. Hey, hi. I played the bass. Yeah, man, big fan. <laughs> Thank you. We're a big fan of you as well. Um, let's see. Oh, thanks. We also used to go by the band name the Giant Moa, but Tony C. Yeah, well, uh, hold on, we got another jet, we got another jet that we're adding to, hold on. Alright, okay. right. we don't need to get upset here. Alright, hold on. We got another jet. Give us a sec, we got another jet here. You got another jet? Is the Mon- is, is Monty- is Monty getting on? Yeah, we got him. I got him. I'm good. getting him right now. Oh, sweet. Montigamapon? Who's this what? other jet? Montgomery. Oh, we, Montgomery. We just call him Monty. That's his short, that's his jet name. Oh, Mon Monty. All right, hold on. We get got on him. Here. here we go. There he is. Hey, All right. Monty. Uh, we're calling Monty right now. Oh, you guys are calling him. All Whoa, right. this is crazy. Yeah, what's happening? Oh, super, is. Super, is. super recursive Monty. phone call here. This is getting complicated. You guys from Daily Hour with me. Uh, we're just, just giving the lowdown on the jet support, you know? Trying to figure it out. So that you viewers out there, you can follow. You can, you can follow the, the jets tour as they, you know, plan it out and get ready to take the U.S. by storm. We're going to take over the U.S. and hopefully uh, the greater Toronto area of Canada. All right. So, wait, are you there? The new guy's there? Yeah, uh, Monty. Monty. He, he's here. He's, he's in the Skype call, but he isn't, isn't talking for some reason. Monty, I think it's microphone. Monty how are you doing yeah. today? I think his microphone is... Uh, he, has, he has his settings. Oh, he's just listening? Wrong. Hey, hey, the hawk. What's your favorite chicken nugget sauce? Uh, uh, honey. Just plain honey? There's the honey. Yeah, yeah we got honey right here in the studio. Plain right honey. there, you can come oh. pick this up if you want it. You yeah. It. It's we got this for you if you ever need some chicken nuggets. It's the just uh, plain honey sauce. Just plain honey right Pure there. Pure honey. That's what you want. Well, I mean, I don't have any chicken nuggets to, to eat them with. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh wait, we got another jet now. Hold on. Another jet? Wait, which Hold jet? On. Uh, it's Dane. Dane? Oh. Sting? All right. Sting? All right, there we go. We got another one. This is Dane. Hold on, we're calling him. Here he is, Dane. You're on. You're on with you guys from your daily hour with me, Sting. Program. Hey, Sting. How you doing? What? what? Uh. Hey, Dane. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Dane, how are you doing today? Um, all right. Hey, uh, do you like McDonald's, Dane? No. Why I not? What? What? Why? No, it's like person, are you, Dane? No, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's fine. Like we're, just, we're just curious more than anything. What's what? wrong with McDonald's? Yeah. Um, there's this fat kid I know that eats there, and uh, his weight uh, makes me not like McDonald's. What? I said there's a fat kid. And his weight makes me not want to eat McDonald's. <laughs> oh, I see. There's a, there's a fat kid, and his weight makes him not want to eat oh, McDonald's. Oh, you're, are you fat? He is fat. Dane's really, uh, yeah, I'm really fat. Yeah, really fat. Are you, a second -rate comedian. Are you trying to lose weight, Dane? Yeah, I, I don't walk around uh, the stage enough, so I'm trying to lose weight. You know by, what? I, uh, eating at McDonald's. Yeah, I, I heard... I heard that you can eat at McDonald's and still lose weight. You just gotta exercise and not drink soda. The soda is what does the weight thing. You can eat those burgers, they're still good. Just walk it off, you know? Exactly. Yeah, you just gotta walk it off. You know, maybe take a little jog, jog it off real quick. Oh. Yeah. All right. It's <laughs> great if I thank you. We used to have, when we were called the Giant Mullen before Tony C uh, great destroyed advice. our band, um, he, used to, he used to jog it off on stage. He used to pick up the equipment and jog it, jog it off stage during the show. And uh, the people in the audience would get real mad because he was putting the audience, he was giving them the instruments and he should have been playing them. Right. <laughs> but yeah, he was, he was jogging. <laughs> yeah. Jogging. Don't jog the instruments, play them, Dane. So yeah, Dane, what do you. What's da up with that? 
Dane, have you seen the program before? No, he's addicted to heroin. He doesn't watch. Yeah. Oh, Dane's addicted to heroin? Yeah, he's got a little bit of an issue. Yeah, he's got a couple issues. Got Maybe that's why he doesn't like McDonald's. We oh, finally yeah. dropped him as our sound guy uh, a few months back because we found out about it, and uh, he hasn't been doing much since then. Yeah. The heroin is affecting your yeah. brain and making you not like McDonald's. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to go. You got to see that. Oh, call. man. He's, he left the call. He's oh, he's upset. I, mean, I, I don't know what Monty's up to, but, you know. No, still no peep for Monty. We can't, can't hear you, Monty. <laughs> but Dane's one of the lesser jets, right? So it doesn't matter. Or He's, he's not really a jet. He was he was a, he was a sound guy before oh. for the jets. But the thing is, he, we had to drop him. We couldn't we couldn't support him anymore. No, I, I got a question for you guys over at the Daily Hour. You guys filmed this on VHS tapes. Yes. Uh, what's the deal with like the the wave sound that's you know happening in the VHS tapes? That's is that ambient? That's a that's a wave machine. Oh, you got the wave machine going, and I enjoy it. It's really it's, great. It's, it's what Brian Eno uses to write. It's soothing. Yeah, you know, like it's got other settings too, like birds. It's important to. It's it makes me relax. Uh, if there's no waves, like I get scared. Gotta keep relaxed for a whole hour. Gotta keep you. Gotta keep that relaxation. Like so, gotta keep it relaxed. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm checking out your uh, your homepage here, and I gotta say, the spinning heads. It's a it's a nice touch. I like it. Yeah, that's nice. KenRecord.co.cc. Check out the music, yep, uh, but go to the donate, sense. donate on the bottom there. You see that <laughs> button? Yeah. Gonna buy your cassettes. Gonna buy some cassettes on that site. Gonna buy some of those cassettes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still got those cassettes? Cassette tapes for sale? I, I do. They're available on the website there. You can buy stuff from me. I don't know. This is a autograph? public access show though, so maybe can you, you autograph maybe, them. This, maybe yeah, sure. Coming. I'll autograph them and send them to you. Just gotta give me your address. <laughs> you, I'll send you a tape too. You want some? Or actually, I don't know. You're supposed to win the tapes, but. You can get some Your Day Hour with Me tapes, I'll send you those too. There's a couple that have been, uh, like, we just... Oh we my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to donate, and I'm gonna have to win the tapes. Uh, if, if I win, can you sign them to, to Tony C and the Jets, uh, with love from everybody? And could you get, could you get all, the, all the friends to sign? And, you know, maybe, what? I'd like a signed photograph of, uh, Sean, that'd be nice. What? Oh yeah, I'll do all nice. that stuff, but you shouldn't request people Love, love. You shouldn't say, "Can you write down that you love me?" Because <laughs> that's kind of. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, no, no, it's no, okay, no, but it's just no, maybe for the future you can think about that if you ever ask anybody else to sign stuff. Let me just. Tony's got an ego problem. Write down, love. Yeah. I love you, please. Good news. <laughs> please. Montgomery. Oh, Montgomery. Mon Mon Montgomery is here. He's uh, he worked out his issues, and the Montgomery jet, he's here. You having some technical yeah, difficulties there, Monty? Do you want to please? Uh, um, yeah. There yeah. might be a problem with the cord. Check the cord, I think. Hey, Montgomery, hello, you there now? Yeah, definitely. Hey, Mc Montgomery, you like McDonald's? Oh, yeah. What's your favorite? Eat there, like, every day. What's your favorite chicken sauce? Uh, ketchup. Just All ketchup, really? Yeah. All right. Well, hey guys, we only have about five minutes left, and I think I want to call another McDonald's and uh, do other stuff. Cause, so, thanks for calling, though. We should do this conference call again. Because we've been on here for 20 okay. minutes, and I'm thinking I'm going to do some other stuff now, too. Thanks for calling, everybody. All you, all you Jets, call, oh, in, yeah. call in, leave messages, text Darkie. us and stuff. And uh, Darkie, we'll hopefully, Darkie, 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 hopefully we'll Darkie, talk to you all Darkie, later. Darkie. All right, yo, Darkie. check it out, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, thanks. Bye, Amy. All right. Cool. The Jets. Tony yeah, C we talked to the, the Jets jet. for like 20 minutes. It's a big part of the show. I want to call another McDonald's before we end the show here. Uh, let's call this one in Vegas. Vegas. And then it'll probably be about the end of the show. I wonder if they have a neon sign. About five minutes left. Yeah, I wonder if we can gamble for burgers. Yeah, I'm hungry now. Oh, they were not available. Oh, this one well, is I in what? I wonder if the Jets. I want to. I want to hear more of their their band stuff. Yeah, we Pretty have a long cool. time. I bet they'll be be calling back. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> they're awesome. This McDonald's is uh oh, 
in Rock or Round Rock, Texas. Round Rock. And then I think we should maybe try to call Dan Dan one more time, or maybe yeah. he's sleeping. Maybe we'll leave him alone. Oh, ooh, a fax machine. Ooh, there the internet. Man, I gotta, I gotta, gotta call one more McDonald's though before the end of the show within four minutes. Oh yeah. Um, apparently they're coming out with some new shakes. Really? They what said you? on the uh, McDonald's Twitter. What, what no, no, wait. Norma, more McCafe stuff or something. The the strawberry lemonade freezies. Yeah. Yeah, the slushies. Yeah. Thank you for calling the McDonald's office. Our office hours are Monday through Friday. Oh man, I want to call a McDonald's, not a McDonald's office. This one's in Arlington, Maryland. Is there a way to look up McDonald's combination restaurants? There's got to be. Do they have those? You know, like McDonald's and KFC or whatever. They have. I think Burger King, KFC. Oh, because okay. I think McDonald's is not, unless it's Chipotle. But like, Taco, Taco Bell, Burger King, Pizza Hut, and KFC are all. McDonald's. Hey, McDonald's? Yes. Hey, do you guys got the orange milkshakes? The which one? Orange. Orange. No, we don't have those yet. We're supposed to get a mango later on. Oh, what? Toward the summer, but we only have the chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla right now. Oh, you don't know when the mango one's coming? Uh, we're getting a mango smoothie sometime in June. Uh, pineapple mango smoothie. I don't Ooh. know when the shake is coming. Oh, that sounds good, though. I like mango. I want that mango shake. Yeah, that'll be good. Do you have any of the uh, smoothies, like the McCafe stuff, or is that uh, included with the milkshakes, you mean? We have the smoothies and the milkshakes. Oh, okay. So right, what kind of smoothies are there right now? We have strawberry banana and wild berry. Oh, what's the wild berry? What kind of berries are in there? That would be raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. Oh, wild. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, those are kind of regular berries, I think. Yeah, those aren't very wild berries. I think Mar Marion berries, boysenberries, huckleberries, yeah, blackberries maybe. Those are the ones that actually grow out in the wild. Yeah. You know. These berries don't seem too wild. Or well, there's some like really crazy kinds of berries like. Uh, well, I can't think of. Sam any. Salmon berries. Salmon berries, yeah. Or like ones with spikes. Yeah, spikes. blackberries. Yeah. Uh, raspberry. Do raspberries have spikes? I don't think so. Blackberries have spikes. Oh, raspberries. Yeah, they do, don't they? Raspberries? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. There's some blackberries. Blackberries are growing right out here. There's some blackberries all over the place. One minute left. Oh, one minute left here. Have you talked to John Webster recently? No. Should we call him in the last minute? Maybe we should call him in the last minute, but then he... Yeah. See if he wants to come back? Yeah. Tomorrow's Lacey City Council, I think. Wait, is it John M? Is that what I, yeah, it's John M. Oh man, oh man, gotta call him before the thing's time? over. Do we have time? We can do it. John M. Why do I, I don't know why I have his name saved as John M. What I do. Oh, I should have, yeah, no time to do all the stuff that I thought of. It's General Terrorism, General, speak it low. Hey, John. Yes. Hey, it's the program. How you doing today? Oh, fine. Hey, John, tomorrow's Lacey City Council, right? Lacey, no. Oh. Well, thanks, John. Hey, we called you at the end of the show. I just wanted to talk to you, but uh, it's the end of the show. You have anything to say? I like to say hello to everybody. I'm still looking for a uh, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. All right, John. Thanks. We'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Uh, I'll be, I'll be gone. I'll be watching Northwestern River Ridge play tomorrow. All right. There's two more games left for Northwestern. Okay, that sounds good, John. See you later. All righty. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, I noticed something. I think I got the month wrong.